Hi guys, Michael Abaimi here. Today, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite things on television right now, the science fiction series on Apple TV Plus, Silo. So this is a show that actually started a few weeks back and we just got the penultimate episode. And from what I've been able to gather from rumblings online, it seems this show has been under a lot of people's radars. So my goal with this video is to possibly put this on your radar and to maybe entice you to want to check it out for yourself. So before I begin, I need to give a bit of a disclaimer because I've actually had interactions with the writer of the book the show is based upon, Hugh Howie. Basically, we used to have this forum back in the day where self-published writers used to like gather and talk and this was where I met Hugh Howie from. And that was how I found out about his book when the book had just started taking off in the Amazon charts back then. So I read the books and I loved the books to the point that I actually awarded it my favorite book for 2012. And I wasn't surprised when he eventually announced that he had been able to sell the rights to the movie, which was to be helmed by Ridley Scott and his team. But as fate will have it, the movie will spend quite a bit of time in development hell before it was eventually picked up by Apple TV and it became the show we are currently getting right now. I say all this for the sake of clarity, just to make it clear that I have a bit of a soft spot for the story itself. So heading into the series, obviously I'd already read the books, I already loved the books and I already had all these preconceived notions about the story, so I was already hyped is what I'm trying to say. As for the show itself, it is set in a post-apocalyptic future where humans are forced to live underground in these structures they call silos. So basically the concept is that the surface of the world had become inhospitable and because of that we've been forced to shelter ourselves in these underground facilities called silos. It's kind of similar to the concept from the games in the Fallout series where following the nuclear holocaust humankind is forced to live in all these underground vaults. So instead of a vault we just have silos and we just have the one silo. So in this silo the way it's structured, the way their community is structured is that they have several floors. It stretches to over a hundred floors and on each floor, each floor has its own role that it plays within the overall silo. Like on the bottom floors, we have the mechanical section, who are the ones that run the generator that keeps the power on. We also have the IT section who control all the information, the dispersion of information in the entire silo. We also have judicial, which handles like the law. And as well, we have the sheriff's department where we have the actual law enforcers and the sheriff and his deputy. And in the silo, everything is governed by a book of rules called the Pact, which was written by the founders, the people that actually created the silo. And of all the rules in the Pact, the one that precise about everything is that you must never express a desire to leave the silo. Doing so will immediately condemn you to having to perform a cleaning, which is basically a ceremony where you are sent out to clean. Like you are literally sent out of the silo, but on your way out, you are required to clean a specific lens. So the idea is that in this silo, they have certain areas, viewing areas where they can actually look at the outside world. But because everything is underground, they have to look at the outside world through camera lenses. And these camera lenses shows what is on the outside on this huge displays. Like they function like windows in the cafeteria and places like that. And the only way they're able to tell what's going on outside is through what the camera lens shows them. So as part of the cleaning, before you are allowed to leave the silo, you are required to clean the lens that shows what is on the outside world. The central conceit of the entire show is that in this community that they are living in, this silo, there's a lot of like mysteries going on, there's a lot of conspiracy, like information being held, and that's the driving force behind the entire narrative. So the reason why I actually like or love the books as much as I did, and the show which is currently airing, is just because of how much it functions as a show commentary. Because Hugh Howie himself has said that one of the things that propelled him to write the stories was just that concept of having the society where all the information they have to go by is provided to them through what they see through one particular screen, a particular display. So and this kind of mirrors how the world is today, the way we all get all our information through television, news stations and even social media. And based on that information, we use this to form our worldviews. We use this to form our opinions on matters that affect our lives and everything. So, and of course, we all know that everything you see online, especially, you have to take it with a grain of salt. So similarly, it was just that driving desire to tell the story within a post-apocalyptic setting that propelled him to write the books. 
and i have to say that it's a very well written story like all the characters were fully fleshed out you had very like relatable characters and all that translates into the series flawlessly the main character is played by rebecca ferguson who does a very good job in embodying the role of juliet nichols but all the supporting characters likewise do a very good job of bringing their characters to life the thing that I really wanted to see the most heading into the show was just the realization of having such a huge structure, the silo itself, brought to life on the TV screen. And I have to say that the show does this justice. Like the silo actually feels like a lived in space. It actually feels like an actual living, breathing community. So, and I think props have to go to the production team, the production design, the sets and everything it looks very convincing. There's very minimal use of CGI to extend all the backgrounds and all that, but just with what they were able to achieve and how they were able to create, or rather recreate that sense of claustrophobia. Because basically these guys are living under the ground and everything was brought to life in some of the most beautiful set design I've seen in a show in a very long time. So yeah, it is all these things that just make me feel that this is a show that everybody really needs to check out, especially if you're into science fiction, because we've gotten quite a number of science fiction shows lately, but all of them really stand out and i noticed that apple tv plus is currently serving as a home for quality sci-fi tv shows between this and foundation which is another very good science fiction show that is currently ongoing and we haven't really gotten one of those since the last of us wrapped up on hbo max earlier in the year i know that yes secret invasion just started on disney plus but to be honest based on what happened in the first episode i would say that i still haven't felt that central hook that narrative hook to the story like i was expecting to feel the quality basically is just not where i was expecting it to be especially since they're trying to model this show after other movies like captain america winter soldier with the whole spy thriller angle so but i'll still give them the benefits of the doubt and see how the second episode shapes up but currently as it stands i believe that silo is actually the best sci-fi show on tv which is why i'm giving it a very high recommendation anyway these are just my thoughts about silo on apple tv plus have you been watching the show or have you even heard about the show before let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching this discussion and to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on if you like to see more discussions like this in the future and I'll see the next one. This is Michael signing off.